In order to provide a more reliable diagnostic tool for airline mechanics, Allied Signal has upgraded to the Dash 19 ECU, which provides the following advantages with its new front panel display. A status line display of what's currently happening. A real-time display of failed LRUs while the APU is running. And a continuous record display of the current record select switch position. The ECU performs byte before start, during operation, and during shutdown. Located inside the aft cargo door behind removable panels, the ECU continuously monitors the APU's electrical components, stores shutdown information along with LRU failures. It also provides diagnostic information of APU pneumatic availability. Stored data are recalled and displayed in accordance with selections made on the front panel switches. The ECU's front panel consists of four main display areas. The reason APU not operating matrix displays specific APU fault indications when the APU protection circuits detect a condition that causes a shutdown. The status line displays processing information for either fault matrix. The faulty LRU matrix displays specific faulty LRUs. And the record select line displays the position of the record select switch. This display is illuminated continuously when the ECU is powered, except during display of mini flags, lamp test, or self test. Paying attention to which record is illuminated will eliminate confusion when interrogating the system. In the upper right hand corner, the test switch is a two position toggle switch that selects either the self test mode in the up position or the lamp test mode in the down position. In the lower left hand corner, the fault switch is a two position toggle switch that displays either fault reason in the up position or fault LRU in the down position. The rotary record select switch selects which previous shutdown information is to be displayed. The last run position displays the most recent shutdown or normal stop. Switch positions 2, 3, and 4 display the second, third, and fourth previous shutdowns, while LRU summary displays all LRUs recorded since the last memory erase. In the lower right hand corner, the erase memory button is covered by a guard. Pressing the momentary erase memory button causes all fault memory to be erased from the system. When the APU is not operating, the ECU is powered by the front panel switches. APU not operating is defined as when the master switch is in the off position and APU speed is below 7%. When the APU is not running, the lamp test feature sequences through, column by column, testing the lamps. Each column will illuminate for four seconds and extinguish. Immediately following lamp test, the ECU automatically enters the mini flag display mode. Numbers 1 through 199 are displayed sideways in large characters which correspond to the mini flag maintenance list in the maintenance manual. The mini flag display is a detailed summary of failed components or failure conditions. If no mini flag information exists, OK will be displayed. This sequential display will repeat each time the lamp test button is momentarily pressed. LRU and ECU mini flag faults are numbered 1 through 128. APU system diagnostics are numbered 129 through 199. Please remember, mini flags are not your first line maintenance activity. Your first line maintenance activity should be to read your faulty LRU list and replace that LRU. If the problem still exists, then access your mini flag list to view the faulty LRU. For instance, maybe you have a shorted D-oil solenoid. 
If it's shorted and you replace the solenoid, and if the problem still exists, it's probably a wiring problem. This method of troubleshooting will assist you in repairing the APU system in the shortest time possible. Self-test interrogates the byte system and will either report test OK or a failed LRU. Self-test is only active when the APU is not operating. Rotating the record select switch to last run and positioning the fault toggle switch to reason will display the shutdown reason for the last APU run for six seconds. The fault toggle switch in the LRU position will simultaneously display for six seconds all the faulty LRUs that have been associated with that shutdown. If no associated LRUs have occurred, see maintenance manual will be displayed for six seconds. Rotating the record select switch at any time will deactivate the current display. If the last run fault display is normal stop signal, this implies that the APU was shut down by the aircraft system. This display will only be located in the last run position. When normal stop signal is the reason for the APU not operating, the fault LRU switch will display all LRUs detected on the last run. To interrogate information in record select positions shut down 2, 3, or 4, rotate the record select switch to the desired position and toggle the fault switch to reason or LRU. To examine the LRU summary, rotate the record select switch to the LRU summary position and toggle the fault switch to LRU. The LRU summary will contain all LRUs since the last memory erasure. When the APU is operating, the ECU is powered by the run signal. The master switch is on and no shutdowns have occurred. Rotating the record select switch to the last run position will display real-time byte information. Positioning the fault toggle switch to LRU activates a continuous display of all LRU failures detected during the current run as they occur. If there are no faulty LRUs, no data will be displayed until an LRU fault occurs. Deactivating the continuous fault LRU display can be accomplished in three different ways. By pressing the toggle switch in the lamp test position, placing the fault switch to reason, or changing the record select switch. Self-test is inactive and will not affect the display. With the APU running and the record select switch in the last run position, toggling the fault switch to the reason position will display no data for six seconds or until the record select switch position is changed. If a shutdown occurs, the display will blank. The reason is logged for display in last run, and all faulty LRUs that are not associated with that reason are transferred to the summary position. The faulty LRUs in last run are only those LRUs that could have contributed to that particular shutdown. When the APU is restarted, all last run information is bumped to shutdown 2 information from shutdown 2 to shutdown 3 and so on. The information that was in shutdown 4 is deleted. If a normal shutdown occurs, normal stop signal is logged as reason in last run. All faulty LRUs detected during the last run remain in last run to be displayed. Remember, record select positions 2, 3, 4 and LRU summary operate the same as when the APU is not running. With the APU still running, toggle to the lamp test position and hold down the switch to enter the mini flag display mode. This will display mini flags of the unit that have failed during this particular run. As mentioned before, mini flags below number 128 are all failed LRUs and or errors that caused the LRU to fail whereas any mini flag number greater than 128 is a diagnostic mini flag. A diagnostic mini flag is an on-condition description of some APU operation parameter. 
For instance, numbers 131 and 140. 131 implies that the air-driven hydraulics pump mode is active and 140 implies that the surge control valve is closed. This should tell you that pressure is available for the aircraft system. If low duct pressure is observed, visually confirm that the surge control valve position indicator also indicates closed. As mentioned, one of the main features of the new Dash 19 ECU is being able to interrogate its history while the APU is running. To access history readouts, select the up position on the fault reason switch which will display the last run or current shutdown. In this case, no data lights up. This informs you that the APU is still in operation. If you rotate the record select switch to shut down to and look at the display, it says no light off. The faulty LRU says that it did not detect an electrical fault and to see maintenance manual. That's the beauty of this new display. It will always tell you something. If you interrogate the memory area and the front panel is not displaying something, it's indicating that you're not in the APU non-operating condition. You're either above 7% or the master switch is still in the on position. Here's a no light off for shutdown 3 and the associated LRU. Ignition unit is displayed when LRU is selected. The LRU summary contains no shutdown information because it's a summary, not a shutdown. The LRU summary will display all of the LRUs that have failed since the last time the memory was erased. An exception to general operation occurs when logging a door system fault for the current run. Initial conditions are a run signal is received, the inlet door is still closed, and pre-start byte is complete. Placing the record select switch to last run and the fault toggle switch momentarily to reason will display no data until 30 seconds have elapsed. If a door open signal is not received within 30 seconds after completion of pre-start byte, door system will be displayed as reason APU not operating. If a door open signal is eventually received, the door system lamp goes off and the start cycle continues. If a stop command is received while the door system lamp is on, shutdown occurs and door system is stored as the reason APU not operating. And finally, a common problem during main engine start is when the APU shuts down while the aircraft is being pushed back from the gate. One suspected reason might be loss of DC power. Interrogating the unit in real time lets you know right away if it was a DC power loss or it will bump it to shut down too at your next start. In order to correctly troubleshoot your 331-200 APU system, you must first know what's considered normal. You must recognize symptoms to problems and be able to identify probable causes. The reliability and performance of your APU is directly related to understanding Dash 19 ECU operation and being able to correctly interrogate its built-in test equipment. You'll then be able to quickly and accurately troubleshoot your Allied Signal 331-200 APU. <laughs>